Hello, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. There is a new lesson in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers and everyone is welcome to go there and buy it. There are three lessons right there right now <laughs> and I know it doesn't sound like much but I've just started you know and I promise you I will be um, uploading more and more lessons and content both on YouTube channel on my channel and onto my store so I hope in the future there will be many lessons there maybe hundreds just give me some time <laughs> So um, the lesson that uh, the new lesson is called Animal Groups. It is designed for grade four or five students. But again, like it, it, it depends on your students, really. Maybe they speak like perfect English. So maybe then uh, this lesson is good for grade two as well or grade three. But um, based on the level of my students, I would say it is grade four or five. Um, this lesson is very detailed. Uh, the PowerPoint is uh, contains 70 slides. <laughs> so uh, you're going to be more than prepared when you, well, if you decide to download it. Also, this lesson is great if you're teaching animals or uh, it's great if you need to do a demo because, you know, like when you're looking for a job, uh, a lot of schools ask for a demo class. So with a lesson like that, I uh, guarantee you, I promise you're going to get a job for sure. <laughs> also, I just want to say huge thank you. Hugs to all of you because you guys are amazing. I never thought that I would see and read so many warm, so many amazing comments. I mean, like, I'm a bit overwhelmed, honestly. <laughs> I just want to say that all your comments, um, all your feedback means so much to me. You guys are awesome, really. Wow, thank you very much for thinking so highly of what I do and uh, supporting me in so many ways. I mean, it's impossible to be upset or have a bad day because I have you, you know, and I'm very happy that our community is growing um, so quickly. And I'm really happy that my videos are helping you guys. I mean, there are tons of videos that um, teach English, uh, a lot of videos on YouTube for English learners, but I don't think there are many videos for teachers. And it's us who create all this content. And I think we need to stick together and we need to help each other. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you know, it's our superpower. Or teachers. Well, have a wonderful day. Um, and as always, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Love you. Mwah. Hello again, and welcome to another PowerPoint lesson walkthrough. As always, I want to be transparent with you guys and I want you and I want to show you what you are buying. So here's a quick preview. This PowerPoint, this PowerPoint lesson has 70 slides. It's long, it's detailed, and I guarantee you, I promise it's going to work like a charm in your classrooms. Um, so let's just go through it. Uh, it's called Animal Groups um, by Teacher Val. Here you can insert your own photo and you can change the name to your own. Uh, as you know, I split my class into boys and girls, but um, you can uh, do it my way or you can, you know, split them into the two teams of your ch choice. And I always start with class rules. Um, 
when you uh, when you go through the class rules do not just read these rules to them but elicit the answers from your students so instead of reading rule number one clear your desk ask your students what is rule number one and they're supposed to uh, read it back to you rule number one is clear your desk uh, here is rule number two be quiet rule number three is listen to the teacher rule number four speak english rule number five raise your hand and rule number six study hard um in my classes students are required to bring a pencil and notebook so they can take notes note taking is super important because they can always refer to their notes before the final exam and here's the beginning of the class we are going to read this book so this is what you are eliciting from your students uh, and you go through the uh, pre-reading stage of your lesson so what is the title of the book then you ask who is the author uh, what can they see on the book cover and what do you think this book is about yeah and then you start with a pop quiz as i told you many many times i like pop quizzes and i do them for different reasons I use a pop quiz to check comprehension or introduce an interesting fact. And here, in this case, I'm using a pop quiz to introduce an interesting fact. So, fact number one, how many teeth does a dog have? And before that, of course, I would invite one, one boy and one girl to stand up. And um, then they need to give me an answer as quickly as possible. In this case, it's A, dogs have 42 teeth. Did you know that fact, by the way? <laughs> Next one. Which one of these animals cannot jump? The correct answer is elephant. Uh, and then again, you invite one boy, one girl. Please stand up. And here's the third question. How tall is the emperor penguin? In this case, the uh, correct answer is B, 1.2 meters. And then you go into the lesson topic, which is animal groups. Yeah, again, you can elicit... Um, the responses from your students you can ask them what do you see what is number one what is number two what is number three and so on in this lesson we are learning uh six animal groups and you start teaching mammals uh you you can read it together with the class and also if you like maybe i can even make a video on classroom reading how we read in class then reptiles birds also some words are covered so this is again uh, a reading technique so when you read together with class you can elicit responses from your students like birds are animals that have wings they all have feathers and many of them can fly amphibians fish and insects all right and uh here is the first um exercise here's the first task that you do just to make sure they understood and learned six animal groups All i've recorded animals, this mammals reptiles fish birds here just i'll say it quickly i have recorded this uh so you can just like it will play automatically when you uh play this ppt if you want to remove my recording it's here you just uh click on the sound icon and uh right click and then cut or just delete it if you don't want it but i thought it would be useful it would save your voice so i recorded the whole task here 
just so you know. <laughs> okay, um, and here's the activity, yeah? So, um, you show a picture of an animal and your students need to tell you which animal group it belongs to. So, in this case, it is a mammal or it is a bird, it is a fish, it is a reptile, it is a mammal, and so on. Okay, and now we all, well, we get to read a, a bit more. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, this is a giraffe, it is a mammal, it is a very tall animal, it is over five meters tall, it has very long legs, and it eats leaves. And as you can see, you finish with a question, where does it live? And then you have a pop quiz. Again, you invite one boy, one girl to stand up and you display the question, where do giraffes live? And they need to choose the correct answer. In this case, it's B, Africa. And then you read some more. Now you read about blue sharks, um, you can introduce some interesting facts about sharks. For example, sharks uh, have to move uh, all the time. If they stop moving, they die. Uh, or sharks do not have any bones, stuff like that. Uh, it's really up to you how you want to deliver it. And then you end with a question. How fast can a shark swim? And as you have probably guessed, pop quiz so and again one boy one girl and they need to choose the correct answer in this case it's c 65 kilometers an hour uh, then you read about fireflies um, and you end with a question what uh, with a pop quiz yeah uh, what color is firefly light there we go so the correct answer is B. And finally, the, the, fi like the, the fourth and final piece of reading, it's about crocodiles. And again, you end with a question, which uh, in my opinion, spikes interest in the lesson. Yeah, these are all interesting facts about animals and children love animals. All right, and um, here we go. Uh, here we have now uh, post reading activities. The first one is what is the word? So this is the example. They need to unscramble this word. Yeah, and all these words, vocabulary words, are taken from uh, the reading. Yeah, so you show that this was an example. It saves you time explaining all this stuff to the students. You can just show them. And then again, you can do it in pairs or you can do it as a choral drill. All right, so in, I'll just go quickly through them so you can see what they're like. Bird, this is mammal. What is the word? Who can tell me? Well, actually, if you read backwards, it's reptile but uh, most 10 year olds can't really <laughs> get that. All right, and what is the word? Amphibian. And here's an exercise too. Here's the second exercise. What is the question? So you display the question, uh, or you display the sentence, and you show them the first word or the first two words and your students need to come up with a question to the sentence so in this case it will be where do fish live sharks are over three meters long what is the question and uh, they need to come up with the answer again it's up to you how you want to do it you can do it in pairs or you can do it together with the whole class it's really up to you Here's question number three, and here's question number four. All right, uh, exercise number three is make the sentence. This is actually a bonus because in my original lesson, I didn't have this activity, but I thought, you know, uh, the more the better. So yeah, it's a little bonus um, that you have here in this lesson. Uh, and this is a really, really cool activity. So um, again, this is an example. You're, uh, you invite one boy, one girl 
to make to turn it into a competition they have 40 seconds to put the sentence in order like so reptiles are animals that have cold blood if they can do it within 40 seconds they win they get a point yeah so this was an example now you try it um and here we go this is how you do it so let me show you the sense the sentences all sentences are from our story from the book from the text yeah here we go so again one boy one girl whoever says the sentence first gets a point also you can do a little variation for example you can ask your students to write the sentences on the blackboard so it's really up to you how you want to do it okay more <laughs> and uh since you know we're learning english and i always even if it's a reading class i always try to gear my scaffold towards um speaking so you finish with a dialogue practice but first of all you need to elicit from your students what they remember so uh, uh do it together with the whole class what is the title of the book animal groups who is the author first see if they can answer this then show the uh the the, the answer and uh drill it together with the whole class what is it about what are mammals and you go through the key points like the the the, the language objectives here uh, are for your students to remember six animal groups reptiles insects birds fish amphibians yeah and then it's dialogue practice you display all the questions on your slide and it's pair work your students work together to ask and answer all these questions and then uh, you give them two or three minutes to practice and then you invite a few pairs to role play it in front of the class they can choose three or four questions any questions they want and they can role play it in front of the lesson and this is it this is the whole class it's more than enough um uh to you know to teach in a 40 minute lesson it may be even too much but as i always say you know the more you the, the 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 more you the more slides you have the better prepared you are <laughs> you know so uh you can erase or remove some slides uh that you think are not necessary well i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough so now please go to my store and buy this powerpoint to support me and my channel thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye